Okay, today we look at uh, more electron configurations. Before we did what's called the arrow notation, where we represented electrons as arrows, today the electrons will be numbers, and then I will also show you a shorthand notation. So make sure you've got a periodic table um, in front of you so that you can follow along. Okay, I will show two examples here. The first is magnesium. The first thing you have to do is look at the atomic number, and the atomic number for magnesium is 12. And then you need to follow the diagonal rule, or that scheme that I gave you on that white piece of paper. So, the first location is the one level, the s orbital, and there's two electrons in there. The s's can hold up to two. Next is 2s, so if you remember before, um, when we showed 1s, it was an arrow going up or down. Now it's just the number 2, so it's a little bit shorter. This is actually my favorite method. Um, 2s, the s's can hold 2. Next is 2p, and the p's can hold 6. So right now we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons. We need two more, 3s. All right, um, now let's show a slightly longer one. How about gallium, which is GA, and gallium's atomic number is 31. And I'm showing this one on purpose um, because of how you have to follow the scheme. So you ready? We start same way, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p6. So hopefully you can see where I'm getting that from on that scheme. Next we have 3s2 and then 3p6. And here is where you need to be careful. A lot of students will think that 3d is next because you want to finish the third level. But that is not correct. So follow the line. Where is 3p connected to 4s if you're looking, I'm sorry. What is 3p connected to if you're looking on the scheme? It's 4s, not 3d. So 4s is next. Fill it up with 2. And now 4P is not next. Follow the scheme. After 4S is 3D. And these can hold up to 10. So right now we have a total of 30. We need one more electron. So after the 3D level comes 4P, and you put one. So this is just called an electron configuration. Almost the same as the arrows, but a little bit simpler. Okay. All right, now for the shorthand. Uh, the shorthand uses noble gases. So the noble gas is a shortcut because instead of writing all the 1s2s and 2s2s, you can just use the noble gas. So make sure you've highlighted these, the noble gases, and you will write them in brackets. So he is an atomic number of 2, Ne is 10, Ar is 18, Kr is 36, Xd is 54, and Rn is 86. Okay, now it's important if you use that periodic table that's directly under the diagonal scheme in order to do this. So here's how it works. Let's take chlorine for example. Okay, chlorine's configuration would look something like this. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p5. The chlorine's atomic number is 17, so if you count all the exponents, you do have 17. Now, what a noble gas configuration is, you will replace part of this configuration with a noble gas. Now, you've got some choices up here, and here's the deal. Chlorine's atomic number is 17. So which noble gas would be closest to it, but without going past the number 17? So argon looks tempting, but argon is 18, so there's no point to that. It's beyond 17. It's not going to work. Helium 
and neon are your other options. But which one is closer to the number 17? I believe it's neon, which is number 10. And if you look on here, your first 10 electrons, rather than writing this, you would have simply written neon. And then you finish it up, 3s2, 3p5. But you are supposed to know how to do this without writing the full configuration first. It's supposed to be a shortcut. All right, so let's try one here. Uh, let's try my table. Um, how about potassium? Okay, potassium is number 19. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is decide which noble gas you'd like to use, who is closest to 19 but doesn't go past it. This is now argon. So you will put AR in brackets first. So that's already 18 electrons. Now you need to use the scheme and tell me what should be next. So argon is actually in the 3P section on your periodic table. So what section comes after 3P? You should notice it's the 4S section. And now potassium is the first element in that section, so it's 4S1. So this is called the noble gas configuration.